everybody, Debbie Starr here. I have something super fun to share with you. Uh, if you happen to be watching this around the Thanksgiving, Black Friday, all that kind of stuff, you know that there's awesome deals out there and everybody's rushing to buy different things. But how do you keep track of everything? And uh, please, raise your hand if you've been like me and you've actually purchased something then you go back and you realize you purchased it before. Not just Black Friday, but you know, uh, I'm all the time buying audio books and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, this spreadsheet is going to help you stay on target as far as what you're purchasing, what you have purchased, and if you're using it. Uh, hey, if you uh, do shopping for Christmas, it'll also help you with that. So I'm just gonna walk you through, super easy to set up. So the first page here is just the uh, get started page, uh, welcome, all that kind of stuff. And then you'll see a tab at the bottom down here called setup. So when you click on that, uh, basically this is where you just need to set up everything. And can I move this little guy out of the way? Okay, uh, let me just make it a little bigger so you're not straining to see things here. So basically, just set up different categories. Now, whatever makes sense in your mind. Uh, is it a template? Is it a spreadsheet? Is it uh, coaching? Is it a course? Whatever it is, uh, is it books, uh, uh, you know, audio books, whatever it is, and then come up with a status. It's on your wish list, or maybe uh, you want to buy it, you've already purchased it, in progress, uh, are you like me? Sometimes you'll put something in the shopping cart and then you just think, oh, I need to think about it for a couple of hours, okay? And then, uh, you know, just a description of what these categories are. Now, here's the beautiful thing. You can customize this however you want. So if you decide you want to use this as your uh, ongoing shopping list for uh, holidays or just throughout the year, you could change this, change the different categories for uh, the people in your world that you're shopping for, okay? So you just set these categories up. And then over here on the tracker, let me shrink it down so you can see the big picture. Uh, this is what you do. You just come here and you write the name of whatever it was that you're purchasing. And then uh, sometimes things have a licensing effect uh, in the sense of it's only for personal use or um, you know, you can resell it, whatever it is, okay? And then what category is it? And the, again, you just click these drop down and you pick the category. You can click the little pencil here to edit the different categories. Or again, when you come back here to the setup, this is where it's pulling all of those category items, okay? So uh, you put that there, you put the cost. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad to kind of track how much we're spending. And then the status, okay? Have I purchased it or I want to buy it, whatever it is. And then here, the creator source is, you know, sometimes it's just nice, we'll purchase something and then later we think, where did I get that from? Who was it? So you can just put the source of where you found it, the date that you purchased it. And here is the beautiful thing. You can add the link because how many times have we purchased a course? I've got a couple of different ways that I keep this organized, but you purchase something and then you can't get back to it. So here where it's got this little computer picture, you just click there, come up to the top where it shows the little link and you just add that URL link. Okay, how easy is that? And then whatever the login, uh, email, and password that you use. And how easy is that? It's beautiful because it's kind of keeping you focused on what kinds of things do you want to buy, what things have you purchased, all of that kind of stuff. And there's one more thing with this beautiful spreadsheet here. Uh, <laughs> Do we want to see this? It's kind of like stepping on the scale, but it will show you your spending trends, how much you've spent and uh, the total items that you've purchased. Okay, and then it also gives you a little graph here of when you've purchased those things. And then there's a cute little chart here showing you, okay, these are personal, commercial, whatever it is, and then shows that it's a breakdown category. 
Okay, I mean, how awesome is that? Because here's the deal, if you are an on, uh, on entrepreneur, online coach, creator, all of that kind of stuff, sometimes we kind of go overboard on one category and not the other. So when you are planning out your year, uh, sit down and say, okay, I think I think I want to invest so much money in uh, uh, different courses, training, coaching. Uh, so make the decision ahead of time. Then as you're tracking your expenses, you can see it's like, wait a minute, I'm spending way too much money in that category and not the other, all right? Uh, you can also track free items because who doesn't love something free? So here is an example, an amazing Google Doc that you got from someone, uh, it, was zero cost but again you can keep track uh, of where it's at how you have access to it all of that kind of stuff so i think you are going to love this let me know in the comments below do you have other ideas that you think you could use this for again we're highlighting that it's a digital purchase tracker but you can use it for anything just come over here set up the categories that you want and the status and then just use it I'll give you one more little tip. Things that I use all the time, I like to actually save up here on my little browser bar, or I will right click, I use Google, uh, I will right click and save this, uh, or pin it, I should say, so that it's always here. Because if we're not using it, as we purchase things, you know, who wants to go back and input 50 things, right? So I would have this spreadsheet available anytime I did a purchase, I would just come over here to the top, click it, fill it out, and then I'm good to go. And the beauty is you will never lose another thing again. So uh, if you happen to watch this video and you're not part of my Digital Business Academy, this is one of the goodies, uh, I call it my monthly drops, that my members get. So if you wanna get in and get these great things, then I'll put the link below so you can sign up for the Digital Business Academy or the DBA Prep, as I call it. Or you can also purchase this on my uh, Etsy store. As always, thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And uh, happy shopping.